What's up everybody, it's your boy Rock and Lunch with another video. So, in my last video, uh, the ribbon cutting, uh, go ahead and check that out after this one. Um, I had a tank that I asked a question about. Uh, what do you think is going in here? Go ahead and put it in the comments below now. Um, I want to get something different. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to shock, it. I'm going to shock everybody. I'm going to shock the world. So let's, let's get into what we're going to do, everyone. Alrighty. So if you haven't guessed yet, still haven't found out what I'm doing. I had to add a lot of filtration to this. And so I added a lot more uh, filter floss and uh, hydroponic pellets that are somewhat similar to uh, lava rock and I also do have more lava rock in there as well so let's go ahead and uh, get this aquascaped alrighty everyone so let's go ahead and get this going Alrighty everyone, so I went with the Insta Ocean Sea Salt to actually get this salt water going. It's going to be awesome. Let's go over what we need to get this started. First, let's start with your cup so you make sure you have the right measurements. You also need a spoon to make sure everything is right and dissolved and mixed well. We also need our safety scissors as always, everyone. <laughs> Then we need our prime to dechlorinate everything that's going to be bad for the fish also so you don't disturb any of the, the bacteria that's in there that's going to be living because we have live sand so we make sure that we can protect that with the prime. So with this salt it says to use a half cup for each US gallon of water mix. So if this is a 29 gallon salt water tank. So I will have to use two and a half cups per five gallons. I'm going to do that roughly three times and then see as I go. Let's get it all mixed up everyone. Alrighty everyone, so this is the first bucket. I got two more buckets. I'm going to fill those up a couple more times, repeat, and we'll get to the finished product. Let's get this going everyone. Let's see what the water quality is. Alright everyone, so this is a hydrometer to uh, test the salinity in the water. Now that meaning it is a salt water fish tank everyone. So we wanted it right about here. It was there earlier. But since the temperature has dropped a little bit, it uh, decreased a little. But we're going to work this over time. So it's going to have about two weeks, maybe two to four weeks to cycle for us to put fish in. And these shells come from Mr. Matt Moore. I appreciate you, my guy. I did win his uh, pink shells on his channel for his 500 giveaway. Uh, Mr. Matt, I know you want Shelly's to be with these shells but uh sorry they're going in good use but not with shellies but look at this everyone i am very excited about this fish tank everyone my girlfriend did not know about this fish tank i did it completely uh without her knowing and she's been wanting a saltwater fish tank so this is for her i can't wait until it's ready and cycled so she can pick out her favorite fish that she's been wanting for a very long time now this is groundbreaking because i've never had a saltwater fish tank but with the help of a buddy of mine mr aquafunk i will be able to so shout out to you my guy thanks very much for this and for those who do love this content please drop a like 
please share, comment, be kind, be courteous, and we'll see you in the next one. And as always, everyone, enjoy.